32 traditional areas have over the past decade been battling a land dispute, which is currently before the Gunja Traditional Council. A clash in 2021 saw the loss of two lives with properties destroyed within the two paramounts. According to TV3 sources, the slain chief was returning from the market with his son when unknown gunmen opened fire at them. The chief died at the spot with his son sustaining various degrees of gunshot injuries. The killing of the chief has heightened tension in the area. Though it is not confirmed who the perpetrators are, the people of Tuluwe traditional area suspect the people of Kakwande are responsible for the killing of the chief. Security has since been beefed up in the area. On Wednesday, March 29, Savannah Regional Minister and Chairman of the Savannah Regional Security Council, Said Muaz Jibro, led a delegation of RECSEC to pay a courtesy call on the newly enskinned Yegbenwura, B. Kunutu Jewuswale I, at his private residence in Damango. The minister appealed to the new Yegbenwura to intervene in the land dispute between the Tuluwe and Kakwande traditional areas. There are some outstanding issues that are creating insecurity in the region. For that matter, Gonja land, of which he is the head of the Gonja kingdom. We have land disputes between uh, Panshao and then the Jantong area. Even your own traditional area, Trowe, is having a problem with Panshao. Those are potential <coughs> areas where we think that if we don't go into those issues to resolve them, he will not have peace in his kingdom. And therefore, and I know he, he's a straightforward and straight speaking king. I know these matters are things that he can resolve within a matter of time. And so we are here to lend our full support to him. That one we are not going to and flinch on our support to the king.